Good morning, everyone, and welcome into UMRV. So, well, today we've got quite a bit of things going on, but uh, we got to make sure we shut the door behind us here. Don't want bugs getting in. But, uh, well, today is May 3rd, and in here in about a month, about uh, close to a month, we're going to need to start planting our soybean and our uh, corn. And, well, as we do have a planter, as you can see over here in the shed, it's not a very big one. And our fields, when I first bought this planter for the farm, I thought this was going to be a lot smaller farm. Well, as time has went on, we've bought more land. Land came in for sale at good prices, and I decided to take it and buy it. Well, now our planter is really too small to use, so I have called up the dealership and already reserved two planters, and we've also got a trailer to go behind a semi that hauls seed and everything, and I reserved that as well and I went because I went and looked at it at some point over the weekend, and so we're going to hook this up, and we're actually going to be trading this in, this planter in, on the other two, and picking up those two so the first thing i got to do here is get this backed up and see if we can't get it connected go ahead and hook all the hydraulics up there we go now one of these does hook to three point and the other one hooks to drag type so we're going to pull the one that hooks with three point back with this tractor and then the drag type one will we'll hook uh we'll probably take a pickup truck down there to get so we're not running the truck or the tractor all over the highway at some point today we got to get these trailers unhooked and taken down or unhooked so we can go get the trailer the seed trailer seed tender i'm just going to call it the seed tender trailer and well these fields have got a ridiculous amount of weeds in them so it probably wouldn't be bad to spray before we plant so uh yeah we've got a bunch of stuff we need to get done so i'm gonna go ahead and head down to the dealership so I will catch y'all back when we get there and show y'all what all we bought. All right, everyone. So we made it to the dealership here. And something else I was going to mention about. So if you look right over here, we'll hop out and run over here and show y'all the planters we bought. So the first one we bought right here is a John Deere 71775NT. And it is a 20 row planter and it's got your fertilizer tanks and everything like that. It's all ready to go with Green Star. And then this one here is a Kenzie 16 row planter. It's a Kenzie 3600 and it's a 16 row planter and it also has the fertilizer and everything ready to go. So this is, I think these two planters are gonna be really good for us. This is the one we gotta pull back with the tractor and this is the one I'll probably come back and get with a pickup because this one hooks to three point and this one over here hooks to drag type. So the next thing we bought is we bought a seed tender trailer. And we've got the first one here. These are basically the same. The first one here is a Seed Runner 3755XL. And this one is for fertilizer. And then we have some liquid fertilizer tanks right here. We can fill up if we ever need liquid fertilizer. And then this one back here is also a Seed Runner 3755XL. And this is going to be the one for seed. And you can see it's got the auger, so we can just take the auger out off the side and fill the planters up. And it hooks up to a semi. It's on a Demco trailer. So this is a pretty cool setup that we're going to be running off of one of the semis. That way it's easier to get everything filled up. And eventually, if this is enough, we might upgrade to two. But I think this will be enough for right now. So they told me when I got here just to drop the planter off over here in the next to that gra gr gravity wagon, grain car. I don't know, what, or not grain car. I guess that is technically a gravity wagon. They told me just to drop it off over here. That way it's out of the way. And this is kind of their used stuff they got over here. So they said just to sort of back it in here. It ain't got to be nothing fancy, but just like that. We'll go ahead and unhook get that off oh you're not seeing anything you're not seeing anything whatsoever all right now you're seeing something okay go ahead and get that unhooked and then we'll go over here and get connected to the other one 
I've already put a down payment on this stuff. I do got to go still sign a few more pieces of paper once we get hooked up. But uh, I'll catch y'all back here in a few minutes when we get hooked up and we're on our way home. All right, there you go. Thank you. All right, you have a good day. You too. All right, everyone. Well, we uh, we got all the papers signed and everything like that. And well, this is one of our planning stuff. This is actually what we're going to run on this planner. The um, John Deere 8400R is what we're going to be running on our John Deere planner. And the Kinsey, there, so there's something I found out the other day that I did not actually, I knew it, but I didn't pay attention to it when I bought our case. Our John Deere loader tractor has more power than our case dually tractor that we've been using. Even though it looks smaller, it's got more power. And I'm thinking about getting a set of duals for the uh, our John Deere loader tractor and put just putting duals on it and running a planter on it because it actually has more power, about about a hundred horsepower. And because it's like a 300 horsepower, 340 horsepower tractor and the case is only like a 280 and so i knew it but i just didn't pay attention to it when i bought it so that's something we're gonna I think be looking into here pretty soon but we're gonna go ahead and get them home so i'll catch y'all back whenever we get there all right everyone so we made it home and i know earlier i was calling this a 20 row i don't know why i was calling this a 20 row this is a 24 row planner i i don't know where i got 20 row but this is 24 it's got four on the back. I guess I just seen the sides and they were 10, 10, so it makes 20, but it's got four on the back. So this is a 24 row. And well, this is a plan. And this is actually what we're going to use for the plant, uh, the planning setup. This is the tractor and everything. So we're actually just going to leave this hooked up. I'm going to see if I can back it in the barn here. That way, if we get any rain between now and when we're able to plant, we won't, the planter won't get wet. If the tractor gets a little bit wet, it'll be okay. But you don't want your planter to get wet because it can mess stuff up. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything backed in here. So I'll catch y'all back here in a little bit when I get some more of this stuff done. All right, everyone. So I got that backed in the barn here. And we're going to go ahead and just get these semi-trailers unhooked. That should be good right there. Go ahead and pull the pin, get out, reel it up. There we go. And we'll go ahead and this semi truck is going to go on the shed and I think we're going to use the other semi truck the international to pull the seed tender trailer because we use this truck to haul the grain and that truck needs to get some uh, needs to get run some too and I know it will but I think we're going to use it to run on that so we're going to park this in here. I do have this in here that way it can go ahead and get looked over and grease before we hook it up so i think the next thing we're going to do is run up here and get my other ram truck and drive it down to the dealership and see if we can't pick up that kenzie planner and also i think i have found me a set of duels online i've been looking online and i think i found somebody who's got a set for my tractor that's that's actually in really good condition so i think we're going to be looking into that as well because we really need to run that tractor because this it's the next up most horsepower tractor so that's something we're going to be looking into pretty hard here but i'm going to go ahead and head down to the dealership and pick up that planner so i'll catch y'all back when we're on our way back with it all right everyone so i got it hooked up and we're headed home so i will catch y'all back whenever we get there all right everyone so we made it back i just got the planter and hook we're gonna go ahead and park the ram back in the garage here because this is our nice truck we got we still got our farm truck that's out there but this is the nice truck we got so we're uh keeping it in the garage so it'll stay nice but anyway we're gonna run down here and like i said i think i have found some duels for my tractor here because this i can't believe it when i actually went to looking at horsepowers but this tractor right here has more horsepower and you wouldn't know by looking at it, but this tractor right here actually has more horsepower than this case this case looks so much bigger but yeah this tractor has like 100 more horsepower than it so i think we probably are going to pick up those set of duels so i need to go ahead and pull the loader off of this thing that way we can uh put those on because i think i'm going to tell the guy i'm going to take them so we're going to go ahead and drive it over here and I guess we'll just take it off back here in the back somewhere about right here should work. And we'll see if we can't 
drop it. We'll go ahead and unhook the hydraulics and everything. We'll go around to this side. Pull all that hydraulic stuff off. There we go. So we got this tractor here, the loader disconnected off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see when, when we can get those duels. So I'll catch y'all back here in a little bit when we've made some more progress in that area. All right, well everyone, so it's it's about two days later after we seen y'all last. And well, I told the guy I would take the duels. We went and picked them up the next day and we just have got them put on today. We got the weight seat. We even got the extra weights to go on the outside and we got the duels put on and everything like that. And the other thing we, we got was we took the bumper guard off and we found some weights. We found some used weights and as you, cause as you can see, they're a little bit dirty. But we picked up a set of front weights for the tractor as well. We took the, had to take the grill guard off, but we put a set of front weights on it. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up and take it for a drive for the first time since we put the new duels on it. There we go. I imagine it's not going to drive that much different. It's just a lot wider, so we're going to have to be careful of that. But I think we're just going to go ahead and put this on the planter as well because... Well, it's uh, we need to have all this hooked up and ready to go. I do know, I do know, we got to run over the planter and make sure we got all the grease fittings and stuff greased and everything like that before we go to plant. But because we we've actually got this other, as if you know, probably about two videos ago, we bought this Ford, so there was really no use of having two lower tractors, and I left the bracket on. So all we gotta do is just uh, put the loader on it and the duels and the weights won't actually affect it. So that is good. So for right now, I guess we're just gonna park this around the side because I've still got the truck in there. I've almost got everything done on it. I just gotta check a few more fluids and everything like that on it and then it'll be ready to go and we'll probably put this in there so that we can grease it because we still gotta go through everything, get it greased up and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up getting this truck here fixed up and everything checked and topped off. So I'll catch y'all back here in a few minutes. We'll get that done. All right, everyone. So I got the oil changed, all the grease fittings greased, and I got everything topped off. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't back this thing on out of the shed here so that we can put the planter in here. And we still got to go down and pick up our our seed tender trailer from down at the dealership as well so that's something we got to keep in mind we'll probably do that at some point today but for right now i'm gonna see if we can't go ahead and get this backed into the shed here that way it's in there and just in case we get rain before i get to do anything else we will have the planters in the shed and i'm thinking this one it may be just as long as the other one. It actually may be longer. I'm not 100% sure, but we're about to find out here. Turn sharp. There we go. Back straight on in. We're going to be able to walk between them because I may do some work to them in the shed here. We need to pull up just a hair. Back up a little bit right there. So, yeah, I think both the planters are about just as long. And as you can see, I've got it absolutely as close as I can possibly get it. So I think we're going to go ahead and hop in the K, the International here and run down and see if we can't pick up that seed tender trailer. So I'll catch y'all back here in a few minutes when we get down there. All right, everyone. So I made it here. We went ahead and I've got the trailer hooked up. So we're going to go ahead and head out because we've already got this stuff paid for. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the house here. I do know I still got to figure out where I'm going to buy seed from. Uh, I'm not sure where, which co-op we're going to buy it from. Probably whichever one's got the one I need for the best price is probably what we'll do. So I'm going to head home, make some phone calls, and figure out where it's got the best price. And then we'll probably go pick it up because, well, I can probably just back this trailer in the back side of the shop. And it'll be under cover, plus these seed tenders have cover on it covers on them as well so we'll already have it when we go to do it so anyway i'll catch y'all back here in a little bit when we figure all this stuff out all right everyone so we made it home a little while ago i did some calling around and actually the best pr place that has all the seed like i need is actually our local tractor supply our local tractor supply has a bulk fill 
where you can buy in bulk and they'll all grid it into like my seed tenders so that's actually what we're going to do and we're actually going to go ahead and run down there and pick up uh the seed and fertilizer and stuff we need so i'll catch y'all back here in a little bit whenever we get down there all right everyone so we're just rolling up here we'll see if we can't swing wide enough for them to have a huge buck bulk fill back here to get this stuff it is not easy to get this stuff in here so everything we need is going to be right here which is going to be a tad bit of a pain i think because it's going to have to come out of the auger right there so we'll go ahead and we'll see if we can't hop in this thing right here and do that start the engine up on it so we can undo that and we'll go ahead and start and this one's is for fertilizer we need solid fertilizer so we're gonna go ahead and get that filled up just like that and it looks like each one of them is gonna be six thousand four hundred dollars which isn't necessarily too bad so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can fill the other one because it didn't want to fill that one Well, I'm going to see if I can get both these filled up. So I'll catch y'all back here in a few minutes whenever I get all this done. All right, everyone. So I got everything filled up here. So we're going to see if we can't ease out and try to figure out how we're supposed to get around here. Because I've got that gate closed. I've got a feeling we were supposed to be able to go through there. Uh, we're not going to be able to go through there. I guess we're going to have to turn around and see if we can't go back through the building. I'm guessing they just forgot to open up that gate so that we could get out because they probably don't keep the back gate open all the time. So I'm guessing that was probably what it is. So we'll see if we can't ease back through here. So I'll catch y'all back when we get around here and get to where we can pay the pay them for the uh, seed and fertilizer. So I'll see y'all then. All right, thank you. Thank you, bye. Uh, you're not seeing anything once again. I uh, messed up the, I hit a button there. Just excuse it. Anyhow. We got them paid and everything, so we're going to go ahead and head up to the house. And this is probably going to go where the back portion where I put the gray semi, this is probably where this is going to go for right now anyhow. So I'll catch y'all back when we get up there to the house. All right, everyone, so we made it home. We're going to see. I'm not sure that's going to fit now that I look at it more. And if it don't, we'll just put it in that shed. But I thought and it's not gonna work so it'll just go up here in this shed i can already tell by looking at that these seed tenders are too tall for it to go in that shed so we're just gonna pull it down here in this one and actually i think we'll probably just leave the semi hooked up i don't see no reason to unhook it because we're gonna need this here in a couple of days so we'll just leave this right here and that should work fine all right well we've got most of the stuff we need done done i still need to run through the planters and get everything greased and taken care of there we've got the trailers unhooked we got this tractor we got the loader tractor converted to a planter tractor we got both the planters hooked up and ready to go so we should be ready to plant here in a couple of days and yeah everything seems to be looking pretty good we got our new planners all we got to do once like i said all we got to do now is run through them and get everything greased and set up like that now what i do think i'm going to do right quick is this tractor is a little bit in the way and because we're not we don't we're not going to use it to plant and we got that other tractor that was sitting here on a planter this tractor i think i'm just going to pull right here and it should be a little more out of the way so we can park stuff in here so i think that's going to be about it i got everything ready to go we should be planning in the next video on here and yeah that's i think that's going to be about it for this one but thank you for watching i hope y'all have a great rest of your day and bye for now